Hey, beautiful people. I'm here with Gregory uh, at the World Trade Blockchain Summer Edition. And so he just told me something amazing and interesting. He said that there was only 57 harvests left. So he says that basically we're going to run out of food in 57 years. And I was like, Gregory, tell me about this and tell me about what you do. So what do you mean there's only 57 harvests left? Well, in 2014, so it's actually 56, ah, okay. there was a study released by the UN FAO, which is the Food and Agriculture Commission, um, that showed that at the current rate of topsoil loss globally, we will be unable to continue producing food on our agricultural land. Um, so people might be kind of alarmed at this point because that's not that many years left, you know, um, my my son will be you know 57 years old when the world runs out of food uh -huh. um, that's a pretty uh, gut-wrenching reality to face so the first question I think people ask is why um, the answer to that is because we currently have a highly extractive we're essentially mining soil in order to produce food um, that doesn't need to be that way you can actually produce higher nutrient, higher yield food uh, with regenerative agriculture in a way that actually grows soil back instead of depleting it. But the economics of that are challenging because we're stuck in this cycle optimizing for short-term profits at the expense of long-term health. And uh, the project that I'm working on, Regen Network, what we're focused on is that particular problem. You know, asking the question, what happens if we can um, align the short-term profit with the long-term health mm -hmm. instead of having it appear to be at odds. And what's very interesting is that that becomes possible through decentralized technology like blockchain because you can, you can make the economic system, you can shift the economic system drastically by disintermediating the marketplace and creating incentive mechanics for healthy outcomes. So that means that farmers can actually earn higher income and uh, for shifting their practices to build soil instead of depleting it. And the thing that I haven't shared with our beloved listeners right now is that agriculture, although right now, produces a lot of the greenhouse greenhouse gases that are driving global climate change actually has the potential to be a net carbon sponge or actually be sucking carbon out of the atmosphere. So if we were to transition 100% of the arable land in the world to regenerative agriculture and all of the grazing lands to regenerative grazing, we would actually bring ourselves back down to pre-industrial carbon levels. Huh. That's a mind-blowing thing. And we would actually have more than 60 harvests left, right? We would have harvests that got healthier and more productive into the foreseeable future, making our civilization thrive and our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, our great-great-grandchildren happy that we made some decisions now in order to safeguard their futures. So, you know, at Region Network, we're really all about connecting, uh, creating... Um, an opportunity for people to value the base of the living capital that makes our world thrive um, instead of just sort of flushing it down the toilet as yeah. is currently happening. That's a very good analogy, flushing it down the toilet. Uh, where can people find out more about you and your uh, re Region.network um, and me personally, if you go to region.network, you can see my LinkedIn and my Twitter and my socials and the whole team. We've got a great team from around the world working on this. Uh, you know, we're working with commissions from the UN and leading companies and pilot projects around the world are coming and we would love to connect with you all. If you do the Telegram thing, you can join our public channel. Um, yeah, a lot of excitement around the potential for regeneration in the world. Awesome. Thank you very much, Greg. Gregory, uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll uh, tag everybody, I'll tag your information so everybody can find you, and I look forward to witnessing your journey. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye.